When it comes to personal finance, it can be really hard to know where to start. Should you pay off your debt or build up your savings? Doing things in the right order makes a big difference to your ability to build wealth and make the most of your money. So in this video, I'm gonna give you the five step roadmap to follow that is guaranteed to help you build wealth and secure your financial future. If you want more ideas on how to save, invest, and make the most of your money, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss a single video. I'm Laurie Ann, I'm the co-founder of Dow Janes, and this is the proven step-by-step -step method we've helped thousands of women in our coaching programs to implement so they can take control of their financial future. Let's get into it. The five steps to building wealth. Step one, spend less than you make every month. Wealth building starts with learning to save. You need money left over at the end of the month in order to move your financial goals forward. Depending on your situation, you may need to focus on increasing your income by asking for a promotion or a raise or finding a side hustle, or you may need to focus on decreasing your expenses. You really don't want to be spending more than 80% of your monthly income. Ideally, no more than 50% of your income on needs like housing or food, and 30% on wants, things that make life a little extra fun. Now, if you don't get your spending under control, you won't be able to save, invest, or make any improvements to your financial situation. Nothing starts until you are able to save. This simply means that you need more money coming in than you have going out every month. If you need help with this, we've got a video that I'll link to down in the description below on how to start budgeting using that 50, 30, 20 model. Step two, pay off high interest rate debt. The next step, once you have some money left over at the end of the month is to use it to pay off any high interest rate debt. We consider high interest rate debt to be any debt with an interest rate over 7%. Why? Well, high interest rate debt cancels out the financial gains that you can make from investing. It costs you more to carry the debt than you're likely to earn as a return on your investment. So you have to get rid of the debt first. To start paying off your debt, I recommend first building up what we call a starter emergency fund. This is a thousand dollars that you keep in a separate account that you do not spend unless it is an emergency. And this is in place to prevent you from going back into debt if something unexpected happens. Then you're gonna select the debt that has the highest interest rate and start putting more than the minimum amount towards it. After you've paid that debt off, start paying down the debt that has the next highest interest rate and you can add the amount that you used to pay monthly on the first debt that you've now cleared to your monthly payment on the second debt. When you do this, the amount you can pay towards each debt increases with each debt you pay off. Repeat this until you've cleared all debt that is charging you a 7% interest or more. Then you're ready for step three, build up an emergency fund. An emergency fund is cash set aside for life's unexpected events, like unemployment, car accidents, or medical emergencies. This can be anywhere between six weeks to six months of expenses, depending on your situation and your comfort level. If you have good backup options, like you know you can always move back in with your parents or get a job with your uncle, then you can get away with having a smaller emergency fund. But if you have a lot of responsibility, like dependents that you provide for, you'll want a larger emergency fund for more security. I recommend calculating your emergency fund savings goal and then setting up a monthly auto saving to move money into a separate account each month automatically. For a full training on building an emergency fund, check out our emergency fund video. I'm gonna put that link down in the description below this video too. Step four, save for retirement. Now that you're prepared to take care of present you in case of an emergency, we need to prepare to take care of future you. And one thing we predict is that future you is going to retire one day. Saving for retirement is all about building up your savings so that once you stop earning income, you still have money to live off of. In this step, you wanna max out your retirement accounts and put money away for future you. 
Then step five, invest. This step is all about building wealth and using your saved money to buy assets that appreciate and earn money all on their own. You are going to invest your retirement savings and now that present and future you are taken care of, you can also take on more aggressive and higher risk, higher return investments as well. If you wanna learn about how to build and grow your money, then check out our webinar, Think Like an Investor. I will put that link down in the description as well. All right, final thoughts. There is a path forward from where you are now to where you want to be financially. And if you follow these steps in order, you will get there a lot faster. So follow the roadmap. First, spend less money than you make every month. Remember, wealth building starts with learning to save. Next, if you have any high interest rate debt where the interest rate is over 7%, pay that off. Then start to build up an emergency fund, six weeks to six months of expenses, depending on your situation. Step four, save for retirement. Put money away for future you. And then step five, invest that money and start to grow your wealth. Thanks again for watching. And if you wanna take your training even further, then really do go click that link down below this video and sign up for our free training, Think Like an Investor. Even if you're not ready to invest money right now, starting to change your mindset and thinking the way that investors do will have your financial future begin to shift right away.